Hi, this is Pastor Ralph, and our church has chosen to join with about 200,000 other Christians throughout Hawaii in something called a Pulai Kako, which means please come and pray with us. And uh, we are joining together with actually Christians across the country to pray for those people who are in government. The scripture says in 2 Timothy that we should pray for all of the kings, all of the leaders, all of those who are in authority over us, that we can live a life that's peaceful, a life that's godly, a life that's safe, and a life in holiness. And so we want to pray that that would happen. Uh, I'm not allowed as a pastor to tell you how to vote. I'm not allowed to discuss uh, political issues from the church. I can do this as a private individual, but I can't do it in any organized way with the church. That's a federal government rule. And so I, I can only surface the issues that are there. Uh, obviously, we need to pray for our president. We need to pray for our governor. We need to pray for our mayor. We need to pray for uh, legislators, for judges, for people who are there in authority over us. But there are some other things that we really need to be praying about. We have an election coming up. Uh, in November, there's a primary, and the primary is very, very crucial to the election uh, as to who will be running in each party. And uh, that's an important thing for us to be praying about, for us to be thinking about. Uh, we know that our governor is faced with some very, very difficult choices. Uh, this whole business of uh, civil unions, which in some states have led to uh, same-sex marriage, uh, there's a lot of confusion, there's a lot of opinion on all sides. And the governor is holding hearings this very week. She's going to meet one day with people who are against the bill. Uh, the next day she's going to meet with people who are for the bill. She's trying to keep them from arguing with one another. And uh, we pray that God would uh, use her and give her the wisdom of Esther in the Old Testament. We know that she's a God-fearing woman and we pray that the Lord would speak to her and that she would hear God's voice and we will trust the Lord to to do what he what he wants to do. And so as I'm praying and leading the congregation in prayer, um, I'm just trusting that you will pray and that you'll pray what's on your heart, your opinions, your heart, what God has put in your heart uh, for the state of Hawaii, for our nation. And I'm asking that you would spend the next two or three days uh, praying about these things. Uh, the decision that the governor has to make will be coming soon. Uh, we're very quickly going to get into election season. That's very important to our future in the state of Hawaii, all of us. And so I'm asking that you would pray. But would you join me in prayer right now? Father, we come to you this this time in, in confidence in who you are. Lord, however things turn out and whatever our opinions are and, and, and even what we feel in terms of leading by the Holy Spirit, uh, we ultimately trust in you. At the end of the day, our confidence is in you, Lord. Uh, sometimes we find ourselves like the guy in the New Testament who said, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. And, and we're a little like that. We, we, we have faith, but we could use more of it, certainly. But Lord, we're joined together. And you said that if even two of us would join together touching anything, that you would be there in our midst and that you would hear and that you would answer our prayers. And so as we join together as a congregation, but as we join together with people across Hawaii, and ultimately uh, we're joining together at this time with people across the country, uh, we pray for, for those people who are in authority over us because the Bible says that you place these people there and that you do it for our safety and for our well-being and for our security. And So we pray, Lord, that you would steer and guide the minds of everyone from our president to the Senate to the House of Representatives uh, to our, our federal judges. Lord, that you would have your hand upon our governor, that you would have your hand upon the state legislators, the judges in Hawaii. Lord, that you would have your hand upon our mayor, upon his cabinet, upon all of those people that he works with, that the decisions that these people make would be uh, decisions that would reflect you, decisions that would reflect your kindness toward humanity, decisions, decisions that would reflect your desire that all men everywhere come to a knowledge of the truth. Lord, we can't really tell you what to do. We can just come asking you to do the things that, that are right things. Lord, we have issues before us. Our governor is faced with this very, very difficult uh, decision. Whatever she does, she's going to probably be reviled by some people. We pray, oh Lord, for the grace and the wisdom of God upon this woman. Uh, we pray for the upcoming elections. Lord, you say that you pull one down and put another up. Lord, that you would do that, that you would 
Choose the people that you want to be in the places that will do the most good for, for what goes on here in Hawaii. Lord, I pray for every member of our congregation, one that will remember to pray for people. It's so easy for us to criticize. Lord, help us to be people who are willing to pray for those who are in office and, and who are in authority over us. But Lord, also I pray that everyone in our church, uh, Lord, everyone in the churches throughout Hawaii would uh, personally and individually be involved in the political process that, that, that people would learn the issues and they would learn the, the strategies, they would learn the right things to do, uh, the right things to say. Lord, uh, give them a voice in their community, give them a voice amongst their friends. But Lord, let everything that we do and everything that we say always be done in love. Lord, that's what you have said is that love conquers all and Lord, we want to be that kind of people. We surrender our hearts to you as we surrender our government to you and all that it contains. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray this. Amen. Thank you very much.